Hi, I'm Andrew Johnson. I'm a product manager with the AirLink team at Sierra Wireless, and today I'm going to show you how to optimize power consumption on the RV50. The RV50 can operate at under 1 watt. To achieve this, you'll need to make sure the gateway is correctly configured, so let's go through the settings you'll need to adjust. First, we'll disable any ports that we're not going to use, and make sure that the Ethernet link speed is set appropriately. Select the LAN tab, and then the Ethernet subtab. The Ethernet port is one of the biggest contributors to power consumption on the gateway. If you're not using Ethernet, then set Ethernet port to Disable. Doing this will save about 500 milliwatts. I'm going to be using the Ethernet port, so I'll leave it enabled. If you are using the Ethernet port, lowering the link speed can save a significant amount of power. Click on Advanced, and change Ethernet 1 link setting to an appropriate value. Setting this to 10 megabit will save around 700 milliwatts, and 100 megabit will save about 600 milliwatts. 10 megabit is enough for my application, so I'll set this to 10 megabit full duplex and click Apply to save the configuration. Once you've set up the Ethernet port, click on the USB sub tab and set USB device mode to disabled if you're not using USB. Disabling USB will save approximately 15 milliwatts. Next, select the serial tab and set serial port to disable if you're not using it. This won't actually save much power, but it's a good security practice. Click Apply to save configuration. Now that all the ports are configured, we'll take a look at some of the advanced power management options available on the RV50. Select the Services tab, and click on the Power Management sub-tab. At the bottom of the screen, click on Power Saving Modes. As you can see, there are two power saving modes available. The first is LED Power Saving Mode. Turning this on will save approximately 50 milliwatts. This will cause the signal and network LEDs to stay off unless user attention is required. For example, if the gateway has very low signal strength or no mobile network connection. The second option is processor power saving mode. Turning this on will cause the gateway to reduce its processor performance when idle, saving a further 50 milliwatts. Keep in mind that this may slightly increase latency for some operations, such as logging into Ace Manager. I'm going to enable both modes. If you don't need the gateway communicating at all times, for example if you're polling every hour or have an application that sends data once per day, you can set the gateway to enter standby when it isn't needed and wake up when your attached devices need to communicate. While the gateway is in standby, power consumption will drop to less than 60 milliwatts. To set this up, select the Services tab, click on the Power Management sub-tab and click Standby. You can choose three different standby modes, Timed, I.O and I.O. plus timed. Let's configure the gateway to use timed mode. Set Use Standby Mode to timed. The default is hourly, and you can see that the gateway will wake up at 10 minutes past the hour and stay awake for 40 minutes. That's a bit long for my application, so I'll set the gateway to go back to standby at 20 minutes past the hour. Finally, we'll click Apply to save the configuration, reboot the gateway, and we're done. Thanks for watching.